Hey guys, even here, an Arnold Classic has begun, guys, and it is a hell of a show as for right now. And right here in this video, you're gonna see what is going on in Classic Physique Division. So we got a couple of, actually uh, quite a few, high quality photos where we can actually see and analyze who actually brought what kind of conditioning, who is in shape, who is not. And right here you can see the defending champion, Alex Cambronero. Now Alex, I didn't really have him winning this show this year because he seemed kind of small during the prep. But then, once he finally got in shape, I mean that's it. Brian Jones might be a beast, but when Alex is in shape, that's just classic, right? This isn't bodybuilding, this isn't size competition. This is shape, conditioning, lines, structure, details competition. And Alex seriously brought it but can he really defend this title i don't know in this lineup right here he does look the most dominant in this call out right here this vibe guys uh fabian meyer honestly looks the most impressive to me here the guy in the middle the tallest guy i didn't know that he was this tall he's actually taller than brian jones brian jones again an absolute unit a beast but i think it's too much i think he's too big i think he is definitely for bodybuilding definitely for bodybuilding i mean way too big not enough details not really classic i mean kind of yeah but look at the other guys uh kura Jopara, a little bit too small i don't really like his physique too much danny Yunan, i don't know a little bit too blocky for my taste Alex Cambronero right here and Fabian Meyer are dominating this stage right here, in my opinion, that's how I see it. I gotta say, I really like this guy's physique, really, really classic, really good conditioning. This photo from the back, it's a bit blurry, but you can see that he's definitely in an amazing shape right now. Though Alex might be more conditioned and has a little bit smaller waist even, so I would have Alex here ahead of Fabian, but it's close, it's very close, it depends on the pose. Terence Ruffin was the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia last year, so because of that a lot of people actually had him winning this Arnold Classic, but I think I would still go with Alex for the win, once again. It shouldn't be, but it's honestly a surprise for me, because I didn't really expect him to bring this kind of conditioning, this kind of shape. I thought he's going to deteriorate this year, he started to fade kind of, but I guess he was just taking some time off and now he's back full force. Logan Franklin, here in this photo, he, his hips are definitely way too wide, uh, the, the legs are not popping and he's not in exactly amazing shape, but for his standards he's actually pretty shredded. I thought this photo was really awesome, here he looks really good, the bicep peaks and everything. But I don't think he can win the Arnold Classic this year, no. I don't really see Terrence winning it either, but yeah, all of these guys really brought it and it's an amazing lineup. It's not a glute competition, but if it was, Terrence would be winning it, because he can get his glutes dialed in, and also he has really good glutes genetics, you know, he has that part of the glutes that goes so low on his hamstrings, he just makes it seem that much more impressive, like Ronnie Coleman, for example. That's something that, for example, Logan doesn't have. His glutes are kind of short, insertions are not really that low. And that's definitely a huge plus for Terence, even though it's not a glute competition, this is not bodybuilding again, but uh, the shape of his lats, the overall structure, I don't think it's enough to win, not against Alex. Honestly, guys, I'm not sure, I mean, based on the way the judges are moving them, I have no idea who is going to win. But if I was a judge, based on these high quality photos, at least, I would go Alex first and then Fabian second. And third I would go with Terence. Then probably Courage Opara and then Logan and then Brian. Peter Molnar did bring those crazy shredded chest rations, but is this kind of shape going to be enough to place anywhere in the top five or something like that? No, no, it's not gonna happen, I don't think so. But we'll see, we'll see. It's really hard to judge this show. All of these guys are really good, but you guys heard my take. What do you guys think? Who is going to win and do you like this show? Stay tuned for the open division analysis. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it. Thank you so much for watching. All the best guys and bye-bye.